What's going on guys, Nathan here playing some more Team Fortress 2 and this is an absolutely fantastic gameplay with the Kunai playing as the Kunai Spy and uh, I actually go, I will actually spoil it right now because it's just so good, uh, I go 24 and 3 but uh, in the beginning I already had a death so uh, technically I go 24 and 2. What's even better about it is that uh, Fraps was randomly lagging my computer so uh, I was actually like randomly getting about 10 FPS for about 2 seconds and uh, for those of you who have played at 10 FPS before it is just brutal on you. Um, it's just impossible to do good when you're uh, having FPS lag. But uh, yeah, so I actually do like amazing even with that. And uh, it actually happened during like three like really important stabs. But uh, somehow I managed to still get all of these uh, chain stabs. Just like right there. I mean, I'm just chain stabbing all over the place. But uh, and I will actually get into that like why the kunai, um, the converse kunai, is the chain stab like king for the spy but uh, anyway I'll just get into that and uh, yeah let's start this whole breakdown video once again guys a quick reminder as to why I'm not uploading a lot and uh, that is because I'm grounded so uh, yeah just to remind you guys so you don't think my channel has died or anything you know I'm just fine I'm still here but uh, yeah my parents allowed me some internet time and once again that's why this video is possible uh, so let's see oh okay so uh, I realized Jerma actually put out a video on the kunai and uh, he basically like told what um you know what it's good for uh, where in some situations it has its advantages and uh, I just sort of like to add on top of that so uh, basically he said that the kunai is the uh, chain snabbing king for the spy and I would definitely agree with that because uh, by principle with the stats on the the knife. Uh, basically, if you just keep stabbing people over and over, you have unlimited health, and uh, that's like the kunai's entire strength is just chain stabbing people and constantly having yourself be overhealed. So that's really your overall objective with this knife, is to get those chain stabs going, because uh, that's where its entire advantage lies. But really, what do you do when you're not chain stabbing people? Because everyone knows that chain stabs only come along, like, oh so frequently. And uh, especially in payload, they're more prevalent uh, rather than control point, because just payload in general, people just seem to be more focused towards the defense than behind them. Uh, so what do you do when you're not chain stabbing people? Well, I would definitely suggest to use the dead ringer and pretty much keep it out almost constantly, because just like Jerma said as well in his video, one stray rocket, one stray sticky bomb, one stray bullet, and you are dead because you only have 60 health with this knife, and that is not, that's just like so low. Like anything will kill you, just one rocket, and it's just insane how quickly you can be killed with this. So I would definitely uh, advise you to keep your dead ringer up all the time, uh, even though it might seem obvious that you're being cloaked, at least you're still alive rather than, you know, respawning from that person uh, suspecting that you're a spy so uh, definitely you kind of have to toss that whole um, you know pretend that you're dead aspect out the window and use the dead ringer more for protection than actual uh, cloaking also, another tip with this knife would be to uh, basically play very, very defensive when you have your 60 health, and then basically, you know, use kind of cheap tactics, you know, maybe camp in a corner as spy, and then uh, wait for somebody to, you know, come out of their spawn or something, or just walk by you, then get your first stab, and then you can be your normal aggressive, uh, you know, play style, because, you know, I mean, once again, that, that 60 health is just so low, and you need to use some tactic to have any chance of surviving with this knife and uh, you just want that first overheal and then you can usually be more aggressive. So that's really all the tips I have for this knife guys uh, and you know I mean the stuff that I've learned using it uh, in the past few games so uh, really with this gameplay here like I was actually doing so good and getting so many stabs that literally uh, we were able to camp their spawn which is what we're doing right now and uh, unfortunately I think that spy got one heavy but then I managed to backstab him somehow and I'm re not really sure there but um, so yeah I mean that's really all the tips I have uh, you know just kind of just kind of like camp out well, you have that 60 health and then uh, eventually get more aggressive um, as you see more people and uh, you know I mean your health is really key with this knife so just remember that and uh, you know just remember that um as as satisfying as kills like you know with this knife are um just remember that you're helping out your team uh immensely you know i mean not not just like killing people but also just you know denying the enemy team um presence on the battlefield i suppose you could say but uh yeah that will pretty much sum up this video guys and uh if you enjoyed it please leave a rating i really appreciate it and uh, if you like tf2 feel free to subscribe because i bring lots of that as always and uh 
Once again, just another reminder, uh, the reason I'm not uh, uploading uh, as much as I usually do is because I am grounded and uh, I do feel that um, I might deserve, you know, uh, my punishment because uh, I did have one video on my channel that I really shouldn't have uploaded and those of you who have seen it will know what I'm talking about. Um, so yeah, pr that's pretty much uh, the end of the video, guys, and I will see you later. Peace out.